Okay, guys, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Um, so what to say, huh? We are indeed going down, <laughs> as I have said. And I hope you guys have enjoyed your weekend. And it's now time to analyze this chart here, which is not a difficult thing now given that Bitcoin has broke has broken this line here which I am which I have been calling a, a crucial line of support which is now resistance okay now we are 338 days in this correction and just a quick note about Elliott waves I was talking with uh, one of my one of uh, one of uh, friend in uh, not a friend but one guy that commented in my twitter that he doesn't trust elliot waves because elliot waves given uh, gives us uh, some kind of di direction to the market and the market is not going to follow whatever elliot waves says <clears throat> and that's true I, 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 if you follow me in this in in my in my YouTube videos, you you pretty much know how how um, um how against the idea that the market has a direction. I am right. I'm against this kind of idea. But why why I use Elliott waves? Because Elliott waves gives us a pattern that. Um, gives us more comfort it, it, it it's a comfortable way of analyzing okay and without a pattern without anything sort of pattern we are lost we are humans we need patterns we we find patterns uh, whatever we look if we look at the sky we find patterns doesn't matter if the, those patterns are right or wrong but those patterns help us somehow it, it what made us us it what made us humans so if we just uh if we just disregard those patterns uh it's likely that we're gonna fail or that we're gonna lose some information and what i am concerned about is information because that's what we are analyzing the amount of information that the market is giving us every day and the amount of information is is, is, is directly related to the way that we analyze it. I am trying to, to, to extract, to amass the max amount of information. That's why I use Elliott Waves. It's just one of my tools, okay? I use Fibonacci as well, which I, which I think is really necessary when you're analyzing a market uh, like... like <laughs> When we analyze markets in the moment that we we, we are in the in, in the present where we have such a, a strong uh, automation right when we have a lot of algo targets when we have algos doing the trading most of the trading we need to to, to understand the fact to, to account to the fact that algos are behind the trader the, the trading and they are relying on fibonacci okay so those targets are not arbitrary okay they are they, they shape the the geometry of the market and that's it guys i i am an, uh, i'm not the first one using those those tools of course not it has been proven to be reliable in the past for stocks for indexes for uh, options for everything okay so enough explanation and let's dig into this uh, short movement that we had here uh, during the weekend okay uh, uh, actually we don't have a lot of uh, a lot to say uh, other than we touched again that line of support here which I marked here which is the 5200 we don't have uh, a, a divergence here a bullish divergence we are we have a, a, a lower target and we don't have a divergence okay it's a slightly divergence but the, the all the, the the indicators except the CMF but we are below the we try to go above here but we are now ticking below we are ticking below zero here at the CMF 
the MACD we have a cross and we are going down the storygram is has a lot of volume here so you see this is not only this is not only Elliott waves this is I am taking into account everything here guys so and we have all those oopsie sorry we have all those logo targets here guys it's minus 33 60 percent minus 618 this is not a coincidence that we are stopping here this is not a coincidence the market not only me but other analysts and algos have the same information and are using it to trade so they they know that the market is going to stop here why because the other people have the same information this is some somehow the efficient mark theory by fama uh university of chicago okay but i i don't agree totally with this theory but it's uh, we all have the same information we are all trading based upon this, this kind of information it is a uh, a solid theory if you want if you want if you ask me it's solid and of course uh, as i am more prone to the behavior behavioral economics i wouldn't say that this is totally correct but nevertheless we all have the same information and we all are trading using this information using the same tools so the market is not completely random and completely irrational we don't know where we of course we are not uh, we don't know exactly where the market is going otherwise we would be all rich and the market would just stop existing that, that that's the, the logic behind it right it must be somehow irrational and uh, and random in order for people to continue investing otherwise it it, it becomes uh, rigged okay i don't know if you guys are following me here but that's the theory behind markets okay it's it it must be like gamble and it be it must be fair fair in a way that not everyone knows the information and not everyone knows what's gonna happen or actually no one knows what's gonna happen that's the thing so then you can uh, trade and expect so it's more or less like gamble and it it's not no surprise that that theories uh, a lot of theories comes from gambling not from anywhere keno analysis comes from rice prices in japan it's like 200 or 300 years old so <laughs> with that in mind don't forget what we are using here I, I am completely aware when i say that the market is going this direction or that we need to have this bounce here we use this kind of language but of course other people know this information and might use this information to trade against the elliott wave direction and the market is not gonna take this direction it's the other way around the market is gonna do some movement and then we're gonna apply the Elliott wave principle to make sense to try to make sense of what is happening okay sorry I'm blabbering about this so we have this target here our next really strong target would be 4k but we have this other support here which I have called that one of, might be it's this is the um, we have a here 100 extension which would be a b c we have the extension here we have some oopsie we have some algo targets here minus 33 20 percent minus 33 60 percent of a, a higher of a higher swing of a this wave here x a we have this uh, um, oops this one here uh, let me just check yes this one here from this point to this point so all those pivots we see the 50 percent here 50 percent i have i have talked about it uh, in a in another video that it, the 50 percent has the the space uh, above it has has been diminishing until we we didn't have more movement going up and then we are going down so a lot of different uh, uh, pieces of information from different sources okay so here we have the minus 360 percent which i think 
and minus 38, 20% and 100% extension, which is 4,700, which I think is gonna be our next stop. But I think that our first wave here is in, okay? Let's take a look at the two hour chart. This is our two hour chart. So, so far so good, isn't it? So far so good. So this is this was my analysis. I said probably we're going to have another leg down and here we have. We have another leg. We are now doing another leg down. So breaking this support here, not with a lot of confidence. We we see that the price action here, the 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 volume is is finding some resistance here. So ob this is clearly some showing that the wave one here is ending. Then we would have a wave two, uh, which we, which we were so. Then we are gonna have a bounce, a retracement, which we, which then we are gonna call wave two. You see how it's how it works. First something happens, we see the direction of the market. Then we start labeling it. We start applying patterns. Okay. Don't blame me, they blame Homo sapiens. We need to find patterns. <laughs> um, so, first wave is in, almost. I think if we have another leg down, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, we're gonna see some, we're gonna be, we're gonna have some divergence here, a stronger divergence in the daily chart, and then we're gonna bounce for this wave two, which then I'm gonna call wave two. Then three, four, five. It's really difficult to imagine a different, an alternate count other than this one here. And we see that the market here at the VPVR has interest in those targets here. We don't have a lot of a lot of interest in this support region though. So which which is another piece of information telling us that probably the support here is not gonna hold and it's gonna go it, when. We go through it, it's gonna be like just pierce through it and then we are gonna find support in this uh, region here, which is the 4K, okay? Basic, what we are gonna need to, basic, this is a really easy setup, guys, to short the market, okay? Here we have the, the VPVR showing interest in this part here, not here, you see? 100% minus 36% minus 38. We don't have a lot of interest, market interest here, but we do have here. So, what do you think is going to happen? Like I said, it, the market is likely to shoot through here, shoot through the support here, to, through the 4700, perhaps find a little bit of support, and then we're going to find a strong support here, which would be the, the end target, in my opinion. It's likely that you're going to have some kind of double down double double bottom here i don't know an ending diagonal we don't have information yet okay we don't have this kind of information and we need to wait okay but we know for certain that we, the market is going down um we know for certain that we close the weekly chart below the 100 ema we know for certain that we have a cross here that is that it's clear a MACD cross. We are in the, the 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 downside of the we are in the bottom part of the MACD here. The Instagram is of course is not showing a lot of movement here, but the the RSI is bearish. The OBV is bearish. We have this cross here. That's this cross here, the EMA cross in the weekly chart that has never happened before. This triangle here is broken. We, we close the, the weekly chart below it and we are now going down again. Okay, this is, this, all, this is all information that we need to account when we are, of course, trading. Yeah? So, now you make the case what's happening. I'm saying bearish marked all the way up. It's, we broke this line of resistance here, this line of support here. This is weekly chart. This is uh, the first time that we have a cross like this, a bearish cross, a bearish cross, pardon me. And now we are below it. We are now really below it. We we, we have crossed the 100 EMA and now 
we are in this in this territory here that we don't have a lot of support here you see you look at the left oopsie we look at the left of the chart we don't have a lot of support here of course this is weekly chart but we have some kind of uh, those weeks here yes so some kind of support but of course i expect it to get to this region here where we see some kind of movement okay if we are to analyze the, the weekly chart okay but I, as i said the 100 the 200 dma here is showing what 4k it's not a coincidence again it's showing the same kind of information that we have here right this support region here is a 4k this would be our um our 200 dma here at the weekly chart so we need to wait and trade accordingly expect accepting what the market is giving us and trading okay so uh that's it guys i think that i have nothing else to add sorry for the rather long discussion about economics and market and thanks for watching and if you haven't followed me on social media Acomodo Crypto is my, is my Twitter handle and give me a thumbs up if, I if you like my content if you like this video I am always uh, giving you guys updates if you if I don't if I don't release a video I'm gonna post some kind of chart in my Twitter and if you haven't joined us in our Crypto Trader Educational Institute our Discord server the link the link is in the description okay Thank you very much, guys, and see you, and see you guys next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.